All right, guys, so a quick shout out to Richard Stromberg for uh, putting a comment in one of my videos. As you know, I've been struggling with these brown spots, and uh, after watering daily, it's actually gotten worse in a spot. Now, uh, I, I know how to look for lawn disease. There's no disease. I know how to look for grubs. There's no grubs. Uh, but he mentioned something called chinch bugs, and... Well, I don't know if that's what I've got or not. I did start doing some searching on bugs because, uh, I mean, something clearly is going on for the area to be getting worse, and uh, I'll show you the, the spot in a minute. Um, but there are little bugs running around, and apparently what happens in a drought season, the bugs, some of them, whether they're mites, chinch bugs, a couple other types of bugs, um, I think there's couch bugs, um, basically, they are some type of insect or I don't know you even know the classification one article said they're they're technically not bugs or you know something else like a spider or whatnot anyways um, they will get the moisture they need from the blades of grass so I'm gonna show you see if I can uh, catch some on camera um, but there are some bugs so uh, yeah this is a little disappointing because Remember, I, I uh, thought over here, maybe the sprinklers weren't reaching it. And you can see it's definitely gotten worse because um, it was just a little bit. Now, if you look down by the road, fixing the sprinklers, it's actually starting to get better. And I can see along the uh, crevices, little blades of green coming up. But over here, it's looking way worse. Now, let's see. These guys are super fast. All right, there's a bug here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Just crawling around. And uh, yeah, there's been a bunch of them. Now I can see the little pellets of fertilizer in there that I put down. Um, this is dry on the top, but down down here it's actually moist. And I've searched, I've dug up, haven't seen any grubs, but I am seeing these little bugs crawling around everywhere. And uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to show you, but clearly something's still going on for it to be getting worse and the grass doesn't look diseased so i'm gonna try an insecticide um i feel like this is part of the fun but part of the frustration of lawn care there's a lot of different things that can cause issues for you and they all basically have the same end result you know grass starting to die so it's hard to figure out what the best solution is um, now what I will be doing is I'll be applying triacide insect killer um, the instructions say to uh, moisten or soak fully the grass a few hours before you apply it then you apply it and then you don't water it for 24 hours so uh, I'm guessing they want you to soak it so that the grass you know has some liquids to store up for the 24 hour period and then uh, and after that regular watering. So I'm going to put the sprinklers on and give it a good soak. All right guys, so it is watered, it's time to spray. I just went over to another brown area, moved around. I'm 90% sure it is actually chinch bugs. So, good call, uh, Richard. I, I'm feeling pretty dumb now for not uh, looking into it sooner when you um, made that comment. But I guess so many comments and so, mu so much advice, it's hard to know. Um, you know what to look at and I don't have too much time to play in the lawn these days so But I did see the the white marks on the back of the bug So it looks just like the photos of chinch bugs online. So 
going to be spraying and hopefully this will stop it um, because parts of the lawn looks great parts of it it's just clearly getting attacked so let's go deal with this basically shake it up and go backwards with it so you're not walking where you sprayed that also explains why that spot by the uh, sprinkler over there that I was adjusting was completely dead because it was right next to the sprinkler um, the bugs must have been uh, taken over Alright, so that was pretty easy. I didn't use much of the bottle, so I gotta I gotta figure out how big my yard is again. I think I used the right amount. If not, I'll do the math later and just apply it again slower. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna use this, I would go a little bit slower than I did because I think I was supposed to do it a little bit higher rate but we'll see how it goes so there you go that's the uh, the journey of trying to have a perfect lawn Ugh, not doing so good this year next year I'm applying uh, preventative bug control stuff um, no matter what because this is not fun to deal with all right I appreciate you guys watching my videos if you liked it please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe comment all that fun stuff it's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos and uh, be sure to check out the ones below have a great day bye